Hey, I'm Sauer and I make videos about Heartstop Production while pretending this doesn't hurt my actual Heartstop Production. And today I'm going to tell you how to break your 1 minute loops and make them into full songs. So grab a beer or if you are under 18, secretly grab a beer, a notebook and relax. That was a joke of course, I do not indulge notebooks under the age of 18 years old. Before we can discuss what parts you can put right after each other, it might be wise to get us all informed and on the same wavelength. Your song needs to start some way, and often we start songs with the elements that really set the tone for your song. If you have a vocal for example, it is wise to use it near the start, but anything you can do to introduce the listener to the theme of your song is welcome here. It also may be wise to ease in some of the more energetic elements. Slowly getting used to the temperature of the pool is a nicer experience than diving in head first. These are mostly a transitional element between your vibey bits and the danceable bits. You can build tension or build excitement and hype for the drops in this while providing a smooth transition. However, buildups can be so much more than simply a transitional element. They are as much part of your song as your drops or your vocal. You can add to the vibe in these to really emphasize movement. I have a full tutorial on these which I highly recommend if this is an area you struggle with. If your first drop is not melodic, you have a mid intro. A mid intro is a type of drop in hardstyle where you typically use heavier kicks, screeches and miscellaneous song elements to keep the vibe going on. Think like vocals, vocal chops, arps, percussion and much more. On this too I have a full tutorial. If you struggle making full songs, I'm willing to bet it is because you struggle with this part, the main non-drop. The big no, the part TikTok doesn't want you to know about. The only part of your song your parents recognize as music. Breaks in hardstyle are awesome because we have one of the few genres where you can get breaks in the style of any genre and still have your drops overpowered like they should. You can get a fucking dubstep drop playing here, then do a build up followed by any kind of hardstyle drop and it will work. And this goes for many genres, whether you like hip hop, metal, any kind of pop, eurodance, cinematic music and who knows what else more. You can probably work that type of music into your song. But to get back to my point, breaks are the part of your song where there is no drop playing and is often accompanied by a vocal. Hardstyle has melodies, but not all parts of the song where a melody plays full out is a drop. Sometimes you want to play the melody outside of a drop kind of situation. That part goes by many names. Melody break, melody introduction, the list probably goes on but I didn't research it. Often the melody gets accompanied by a nice bass and sometimes drums and or a vocal. But that's about it for these hands up kind of moments. The part everyone who isn't predominantly into extra raw loves the most. A melody with a sick lead. Watch this video to see how that's made. And a nice heavy pitched kick. The kick itself becomes part of the melody in some way, as the bassy tail gets pitched to the corresponding note of the bass line of the melody. I know someone is going to fight me on saying bass line is not part of the melody, However, if you also happen to be the type of person who struggles fitting a bassline to your melody because you see them as separate, which they are not, it might be wise to shut up. This can be another melodic drop, often decked out to the brim to end on an epic high note, with whatever the producer can think of to make this as epic as they can. Or with the rise of rail influence in mainstream, this could be just another non-melodic drop with heavy kicks. However, the term mid intro does not apply here as this wildly confusing term only applies if this is the first drop. Why you ask? Because you touch yourself at night and God hates sinners. In these cases it is called an anti-climax. Bonus points if you make the illusion in the buildup that the melodic drop is about to follow. If you strive to make the entire reddit community hate you, make sure to include this before every single drop. These hugely misleading bits of the song are placed right after the buildup where people expect your drop to start and often kind of pull back sound wise. They can be either very dry and basic to make the drop actually hit way harder or they can sound like a drop would but weaker only to do a switch up towards a hopefully more powerful drop type. 
While the song starts with this, I decided to talk about this last. As most times when you listen to a song, you don't hear this. A mix intro or DJ intro is mainly there to aid in transitions in DJ sets. And songs often come in two versions. A radio edit, aka the cuts you listen to, and the extended cut, the version you should buy if you plan to DJ. These are often very simple, very dry, feature a 4 on the floor type beat, and if you want to learn more about this, I have a video about this linked there. If you clicked on this video and it wasn't by accident, chances are you are trying to learn hardstyle production. This level of mind reading of mine can directly be applied to your music, in one to one music production lessons with me. I can tell you what you are stuck with, how you can improve and how you can practice while giving tips and tricks on where to get the stuff you need, all based on your projects. If that sounds good to you, hit me up on Fiverr to see what I can do for you. See you there. Have you ever searched for tutorials about making anything drop related, like kicks, leads or melodies? Have you ever done the same thing about breaks? If you did, did you do it with the same frequency as you did for the drop related things? No you didn't you liar, let's face it, the drops are not even half of your song and we collectively neglect the biggest part of our songs only to then wonder why we can't figure out something to do with the breaks. My advice, listen to other genres. Learn to make these other genres and start looking at your tracks more like songs. Start your next project with a break. It is a lot easier to make a drop on a break than a break on a drop. It is a little bit like doing a remix that way. You got a fun vibe for your break and a cool drop to follow it. You made it, right? No, of course not, why do you think I'm bringing it up before the video ends? You need to make sure your song has a progression going on. Every part should be engaging, which can be tricky. A rule of thumb, if you have more than 8 bars playing that don't really feel different, make techno. Us hardstyle folks are not exactly the patient type, and while it is honorary to try to change this for the better, I doubt you'll be successful. I'm not saying you should get rid of those minute long intros, if you like those, hell yeah, make them. However, make sure your song kind of earns that. After 8 bars, either add or remove something to alter the flow. If you have a vocal, look for parts where it changes in intensity. If the vocal gets more or less intense, make sure the instrumental reflects that. I listen to a lot of music made by people like you. I do private lessons, remember? Hit me up on Fiverr for more on that. <laughs> hey. While everyone brings their own unique problems, there are some that just keep popping up frequently. Let's list a few and see where you can prevent this from happening to you. Sustained chords, often played with a piano-like instrument recklessly plopped into the project is one way to effectively communicate you didn't think about that part of the song. While it is good to form your own personality, listen to your favorite songs and try to find those in there. Break them up like it is a Taylor Swift album, alter the pattern, get a different sound, just do anything but this, I beg you. Texture is anything to add background details into your song. This can be a subtle but busy hi-hat pattern, an interesting pad, maybe a cool delay on the arp you got going on, maybe just the way you process the background vocals, or anything. A lack of texture makes it sound flat. You don't need to overly detail it and add stuff for the sake of adding stuff, but you can enhance the stuff you already have to make it feel completely different. Seriously, what the fuck is it with you? Do you? You don't make dance music, you make hard dance for crying out loud. Why does only a quarter of the runtime in your song reflect the idea that people might want to dance on this? Some drums really do ones with most vocals. Some drums can really break the idea of the ever going snare builder compilation in your buildups, and they can even spice up kick rolls and melody introductions. Don't be a dum dum, add a drum drum. Fuck, that was bad, even for me. Point being, just add drums to your songs, it is embarrassing how we all forget it. We briefly touched upon this part earlier, but it really pisses me off, so here we go. Any captivating story has a beginning, where you get introduced to the vibe, a middle where stakes rise and you get attached to the characters involved, and an ending where all the tension releases into one epic whatever. Why do I tell you this? Because it vaguely reflects how you can build your songs. Granted, the comparison works best for emotional bangers, but nevertheless, you want there to be a certain progression. 
if the build-up before the last drop sounds identical to your first, why would people expect anything different? You are playing with expectations in music. Make sure you not only deliver, but also raise the stakes. Fuck, I hope this made sense to some of you. Glad I got this rant out of my system. I think the most important takeaway is that you should take all the other bits as serious as you do for the drops. I can literally see what tutorial topics perform well and which one don't and it just shows anything drop related gets more attention. It makes sense but it is stupid. If you actually spend time learning to make general music and produce with a focus on songwriting, you will see improvement. Let me know in the comments if a video about songwriting or general break production would be something you'd like to see. Any other video suggestions are of course more than welcome as I like tailoring videos on your demand to ensure I can actually help my subscribers. If that word took you by surprise, subscribers are a special breed of people who statistically make better music and generally look more handsome than regular people. You can become one of them by clicking this fun looking red button underneath the video. And if you ring that bell next to it, you can be sure that you don't miss any future uploads. With all that being said, it was a pleasure to be your host once again until we meet again. <laughs>